Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. Today I am going to share my InfiTQ interview experience. My interview was held in online mode for 30 minutes and both the TR and HR interview will be completed in one interview itself. And observe the first question they asked me. The interviewer asked the first question to introduce myself and I followed a unique style of introducing myself and I introduced by telling about my projects, my experiences, my presentations, my hobbies and my aims, goals and my project related and course related works. I mentioned all those things and they are greatly impressed with my introduction and they started asking the questions regarding my introduction. And they asked me, what is the recent course that I did? And I answered with the recent course that I did and I explained the purpose of that course clearly. And the next thing was, they asked me about my project. I clearly explained my project, what is its purpose? What are the technologies involved in that? And what is the process we followed? And what is the data flow happening in my project? And the next question they asked is, they asked me to explain in depth about the purpose of various technologies used in my project. My project is a web application where I explained each and every technology involved in my project like the UI technologies and the server side technologies I explained very clearly. And the next thing was they asked me some technical questions like what is a database and database management system. I clearly explained the difference between a database and a database management system. And the next thing was they asked me the questions related to joins concept in BBMS and I explained them very clearly about joins and the types of joins in database management system. And the next thing was they had given me a scenario like they had given me a scenario like they had asked me to take a uh, two tables and they asked me to get some data out of it and I written a query for it, it works fine. And then they asked me to introduce about OOPS concept, which is nothing but inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction. And I explained them very clearly about all these topics and I explained some of the other OOPS concepts like cohesion, coupling, etc. And they asked me some HR related questions like uh, any previous teamwork or leadership experience or any presentations that I have made like that they asked the question and I had explained them clearly with some examples like uh, that I had given presentations in various technical fest and in conferences like that I explained them and I told about my inter internship experience and they were greatly impressed with that too. And they asked me the difference between a linear and non-linear data structure and they asked me to tell some of the examples of linear data structures and uh, this question we already seen right and this they, this was the question they asked me that uh, is there any restrictions related to the workplace and the shifts i said that there is a no limitations for me i can able to work flexibly in night or the day shifts at any place and they asked me about the strengths and I clearly explained my strengths with examples like communication skills, presentation skills, leadership skills, problem solving skills like that. I explained them with solid examples. And then they at last they asked me about the family background and I explained my family background about my parents and their occupation and uh, the village I came from like that. I explained them very clearly. And uh, they asked me one more question, uh, how you overcome the challenges and stress and I, I answered this question very clearly like uh, I told them that I am having a hobby of listening to the songs. Whenever I got some stress, I listen to the songs and I get relaxed and get back to the work with good swing and with a good mood. I said like that and I said that uh, one more solid example that the challenges that I had faced and the methodologies or the strategies I adopted to overcome those challenges, I explained them. And 
my suggestion is for a people who are appearing for an interview they must be confident enough and they should have good communication skills they need to maintain good eye contact with the interviewer and they need to answer the question with a good a uh, swing and the good uh, communication skills and uh, one more thing is you should have a good profile strong profile you need to have to project yourself and you need to strong in technical aspect also and for technical part i'm giving the suggestions like you need to strong in programming language a procedural language like c and object oriented like java or python and database management system and uh, basics of the data structures you need to have and basic coding skills you need to have and networking aspect networking concepts also you need to have the basics and you need to have the knowledge about advanced technologies and how they were how they will work like the cloud computing machine learning artificial intelligence and uh, predictive analytics business analytics like that you need to have a clear understanding about their purpose in the market okay uh, there are a lot of videos available in our channel and i am providing you the description link about how to introduce yourself in a unique manner please go through it and thanks for watching please do like and subscribe